Hi guys. I wanted to say something about Jinky One and, and depression or the feeling of entropy of not having energy for anything. And um, I feel like it's very much not accepted for us. It's something that we have decided to push away. So there, there are all these things that we can, you know, that we try to use when we feel that there is no energy or there is even the feeling of being depressed. Mm, and I'm speaking more about the depression that is like not like not a chronical like chronic depression that goes over time but more like the feeling of 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 not having energy for doing anything not having not wanting to like go out of bed like a day or two you know or over time that is not like becoming a chronic disease right and there is there is always we have a lot of of course distractions and there are so many things we are trying to do to not allow that and this is a little bit like look, looking at the big bang and saying you know that if there's darkness there's the void and there, we know that something's going to happen something's going to spark but we don't accept it to spark by itself we actually try to you know to do a lot of things so that we're not going to feel the void but it's kind of impossible to not feel the void right there, there is something with darkness there's something with rest there's something that happens before the spark that is so that is so crucial uh jinky one is called the creative so it's really that creative spark and that cannot really that cannot really be pushed in any way it comes when it comes and when it comes it's completely fresh and new it's the it's really that the the, the, the spark that's never that's never sparked before and that's why where the city the beauty comes However, if we distract ourselves to not feel that the darkness, it's like we distract ourselves even from that spark and it can be hard to discern. So it's kind of, it's contraproductive. And also uh, GNK1 comes from the individual circuitry where there is a lot of melancholy and there is a lot of beauty and, and poetry as well in those me melancholic um, gates. And, and somehow when we are running to, to save ourselves from feeling entropy, we are often missing the point and we can't be creative all the time. It just doesn't work like that. So even that thing of thinking that we can always have inspiration, that we always have enthusiasm, that's not really how life works, but that's part of like what we show others, right? And what we show on social media and like it looks like it can be, it can be sparking all the time, but that's not how it works. And that's how kind of where we are. I feel misunderstood. And how can we actually use the times of, of, of darkness and, and, and rest and just be in that, in that void kind of held by the womb? And when we do that, how, how does the creativity change for us? That's an interesting, you know, an interesting thing, thing to explore, to let it just actually take us, uh, especially when, you know, when it's not chronicle when it's just something that we are experiencing for for a little while to just let it swallow us to just let let ourselves even rest in it and then it's gonna it's gonna spark and maybe it's gonna spark in a different in a different way that than it does when we're trying to like force ourselves to be creative or to be happy or to be you know the opposite but just allow that polarity because when we allow the polarity, suddenly the freshness and the beauty can spark. Then we can like have the whole, the pendulum really swings over to the other uh, polarity. But if we try to force ourselves to be somewhere in the middle, it doesn't have the same momentum. Uh, so that's my little contemplation for today. Thank you.